So for this conference, we have four uh, topics. We have optical trapping and manipulation. We have optofluidics and biophotonics for global health and point of care applications. And we have microscopy and optical coherence tomography. And we have methods for tissue imaging and therapy. I think we have an excellent list of, of speakers. We have basically applications ranging from the basic science, developing these uh, technologies and first validation of them, all the way to applying them into biological and, uh, ph and physiological systems. So we have topics ranging from uh, force manipulation and, and basic analysis of forces at the cellular level and how cells interact with the surrounding extracellular matrix. And what I'm really excited about is on the application of optical techniques for point of care and global health type of applications. So look, ranging from um, optofluidics, which is the combination of microfluidics with optical techniques. And a lot of the challenges there really are, how do you basically create a lab on a chip that you can probe using optical methods? And so there's a lot of trade-offs that one has to do, especially when you're considering that you need to make this low cost, you need to make them sometimes disposable as well. Uh, with the microscopy and the OCT topics, um, we have excellent speakers that are doing some really neat tricks with uh, multifocal imaging to really get some high-speed um, image acquisition. We have some experts with, in terms of optical coherence tomography and microscopy, and really looking at uh, trying to get them out into applications in the, in the clinic, and basically doing whatever tricks are necessary to really push the technology towards eventual clinical application. And then in terms of the methods of for, tish, uh, for tissue imaging and therapy, we have some really neat talks on the use of these uh, wide field uh, imaging systems that are really just coming from the, from the explosive growth that we're having in terms of both lighting and camera technologies. And we're looking at probing areas that you really couldn't probe before, such as the brain, as well as other organ systems. And it's really fascinating. I think really, a really exciting time to be working with these optical techniques for biological and medical applications.